Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for March 15th. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair. This particular pair closed up Friday. Uh, it is moving sideways and the bias is definitely sideways. We are looking for this pair though to move as high as 99.47 and potentially as low as 96.16 during this next session. Now look for some resistance around 98.64 and look for some support around 97.27 in this particular pair. Now switching to the Euro USD, this particular pair closed uh, pretty much even. It was a few pips up uh, on Friday. However, it uh, is moving sideways. The bias is sideways as well. Uh, this doji bar that was created could definitely be a sign that this pair is going to continue lower. However, uh, this pair did gap down on the open, so the odds that it will re at very least go up high enough to retrace are fairly high prior to Friday's close. So I'm not sure where this pair is going to go during this next session. Uh, I'd venture to say it will retrace the gap and then move lower and close lower for the day. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now we are expecting this pair to move as high as 130.89 and potentially as low as 127.39. Look for some resistance in this pair around 129.45 and look for some support around 128.36. Switching to the pound US dollar pair, this particular pair closed up for uh, Friday session. It is moving sideways and the bias is sideways as well. Uh, this pair is getting close if you draw some trend lines. It is getting close to where it should hit and then move lower. Don't know if that will occur during this next session or not, but uh, it very well could. Uh, we are expecting it to potentially move as high as 142.26 and possibly as low as 136.68. Look for some resistance around the 140.46 level and look for some support around 138.70. Now, switching to the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair created an inside bar on Friday. It did close up, however, uh, the area that it went up versus the amount from open to close is uh, greatly, you know, above what it was, what the, the range was. So, uh, overall, even though it closed up, it did pull back, you know, a lot prior to the close. Now, we are looking for this pair to go potentially as high as 120.35 and possibly as low as 117.31. Look for some resistance around 119.30. Look for support to kick in around 118.50 in this particular pair. Did create an inside bar, so you may want to look for a breakout, most likely to the upside. Um, don't know if that will occur or not, but it's definitely something to watch out for. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? Looking for a U, uh, U.S. Japanese yen pair swing trade. Uh, and if you notice, we have a high here and a high here. You draw your trend line. We have a potential breakout point, a buy order at 98.54. Uh, and looking to exit this particular trade around 99.17. And that gives us a potential profit of 63 pips. Uh, use a risk to reward ratio of one to one and that will put you uh, a little bit below the open. Um, you just subtract your buy from 63 pips um, or 63 pips from your, your 98.54. You'll get your stop loss uh, and at that point you can uh, you know, place the full trade and see if it develops. Now there is another trade, another swing trade in the euro pound. It's to the downside. It's a little ways from the market. You may want to take a look at it. Look to sell, looking to sell at 0 0.9150 and looking to exit this particular trade around 0 0.9085. Well, that about does it for the charts. We do have the Eurozone releasing their CPI for February um, year to date. It's estimated that it has dropped, or I'm sorry, moved higher from 1.1% up to 1.2%. Um, and that's being released at 6 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.